Hi, everyone. Uh, this is my interpretation of connection. For me, love didn't happen instantly. For me, love did not flood my bones. The rush of magic remained unknown. Seeds of eternal, uncompromising love were not sown. For me, that maternal bond was not forged in the baptism of birth. When his slap-back wrinkled, dust-covered body entered the earth, nobody tied us together. Nobody knotted our skin together or knitted our flesh until it made a well-packaged, perfect pattern of motherhood. I guess nobody could. There was a fanfare, of course, choruses of congratulations and well done and aren't you a clever thing. I nodded. I cried. I looked down into my baby's eyes and tried to figure out what I felt. I knew I felt joy. I felt joy and relief, but the belief that I would now drown in undying love was unfounded. Okay, I thought. Love didn't happen instantly for me. 20 to 8 on a rain-soaked Saturday morning is not my time. It'll happen in the next few hours. But the hours that followed were a hollow-filled haze of blood loss and exhaustion. Love surely would not arrive to red-soaked sheets and a mother between worlds. Love couldn't find me, couldn't find my baby. My baby who slept peacefully beside me, waiting for me to come back and to figure it out. But I didn't. 12 hours after he swam into this world, I could finally plant my feet firmly back on the ground and say, I'm here. I'm here and I'm your mother, but as we sat alone, in that lilac curtained cocoon, all I could think was, I'm happy you're here. And I think I could love you. I think I could care for you, but it's your dad I want right now. And how can that be right? I tell no one. How can I admit that I love this baby's dad more than him? The margin is thin, but it's there, slow and true. And who is there to trust such information to? So I stay quiet. I take my baby home and I pack each day with walks to Tesco. Him in his red hooded pram, sleeping as I push him along. Or walks with the dogs, him strapped to my chest in a black and red carrier, sleeping as we walk across open fields. I walk, and I walk. And he sleeps and he eats and he wriggles when I change his nappy. And all this we parcel up into neat red ribbon presents, counting each day as a gift. That hollow filled haze morphs into milk bottle days, but now the sun shines through. And it shines on that seed, the one I didn't think had been sown. There's no way I could have known that it was there all along, wedged in the very atriums of my heart. And the sun beats down on it now, and it starts to grow. It starts to bloom and blossom. And when he's four weeks old, and he's dressed in a Harry Potter baby grow, and we're sat on the sofa, he smiles. And that seed of eternal love 
It grows, it blooms, it blossoms, and it overflows into a stream of golden fruit. The roots twist and bind us together into this woven nest of mycelium. For me, love didn't happen instantly. There was no rush, no flood. But in that moment, on the sofa, at four weeks postpartum, it arrived. It arrived like snowdrops arriving in spring. It arrived on an ordinary day, slow and true. For me, that mother's love changed everything I knew. Thank you. <laughs>